Hey, Bill Wen again, and um, I just got an email just this morning, RK Services, and this is in response to uh, a release uh, on GitHub. I had just done a video on making sure you have a GitHub account and um, uh, adding it to your watches so you'll be notified. So I just got this, uh, 1.3.9. And so we're going to go ahead and, and take care of this. So first off, you know, here's the wallet. And what I'm looking at here is 1.3.8.1 latest release. So we want to upgrade this wallet. I'm going to go ahead and close this wallet. And we're going to go here to GitHub. Again, here's the address for the website. I would suggest that you get a GitHub account. And then you go up here and you get release notifications. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. In this situation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this uh, Win Wallet here. Uh, I notice some people are getting this executable file and that installs it into your uh, computer. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I like doing it the way that I have been doing it. If you install it into your computer, then you're going to be creating registry uh, keys. And this just has been working perfect. So, you know, as they say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. While that's downloading, let me also say that there's people that are saying that they've been updating their wallet and they're missing coins. Um, you know, if you watch the very last video I did, I go over the app data command and going ahead and deleting all the files in the pro currency directory. Technically, if you're missing coins, that's because you were on the wrong blockchain. I don't remember when it happened. I want to say it was May of last year, uh, 2018, that people, uh, there was a fork in the blockchain and if and all of a sudden people were mining a lot of coins really fast people were saying they're getting 15 coins every minute well the reality was that they were on the wrong blockchain there was no more competition for the coins and so they were getting a lot of coins uh, just recently I had people said yeah but I upgraded my wallet well upgrading your wallet was not sufficient to get on the new blockchain to get on the new blockchain, you had to delete all of the files in your pro currency directory, accessing that directory through the app data command in the last video. Um, I'm not going to repeat that. Well, hey, let's just do it real quick. So here I'm on a Windows machine and I'm going to go to the Cortana and I'm going to do percent app data percent hit enter. This goes into the roaming directory. You see pro currency here. And what you want to do is delete all these files. Now, I'm not going to do this because everything's working perfect and smooth and no problems. But I just wanted to show that uh, if you delete all those, then you will definitely get on the right blockchain. If you believe that you are on the right blockchain and you are still missing coins, then I'm going to suggest that you go to this video right here. Let me just bring it up. I'm not going to play the video, Hi. but what I'm going to show is this URL right here. Go ahead and go to that URL and you'll see some commands that you can perform on the wallet. In the event you are missing some coins, you may be able to recover them using these commands. Uh, what I have found is a lot of times people upgrade their wallet and they think that's sufficient to get on the new blockchain. It wasn't. OK, so here we've downloaded the newest wallet. I'm going to show it in the folder. And what I like to do then is drag this onto my desktop. I do it the same way every time. Quite boring, but I love boring. I'm going to get rid of all these windows. And what we show is the zipped file right here. You see the zipper on it. This is the old pro currency. I did not back up my wallet. That's a, a standard thing that you should do, but I just backed mine up, what, two days ago with the last video. So in this situation, what I'm gonna do is just take this wallet right here, and I'm gonna 
throw it in the trash. And I'm gonna take the newest wallet and I'm gonna double click it. And what we see is the folder and files that are in the zip folder. So I'm gonna take this now, drag it out to my desktop. I'm gonna let it plop right down there. And then what I'm gonna do is close this. I'll take the zip folder, throw it in the trash. I'm gonna remove this icon right here because that's pointing to the previous wallet. I'm gonna double click on this, go in here, get this file right here, and I'm going to right click on it and pin to taskbar. So now I see my icon right here, and it's easy enough for me to click on that. Now, this is pretty standard. Every time we go through the Windows Defender situation, we click more info, we click run anyway, if I'm going too fast, hit pause. If you miss something, hit rewind. Here we're gonna make sure we check both of these. We're gonna click allow access. The wallet's gonna go ahead and start up. And we see right here that we are 1.39.0.0 and this is BR as in beta release. And it looks like we may have master nodes added. Um, that seems to be the difference. But anyways, it's always good to upgrade to the latest wallet. If for some reason it didn't seem to work, you can always uh, go backwards to the 1.3.8. And you do that same exact process. You're just deleting this and you're putting the other files back there. And that's it. So I'm gonna put a link to that other YouTube video here. And uh, I, everything's been really smooth. You know, I hate to say it, but most of the time it's user error somewhere. Computers really don't think, they don't try to deceive, they don't try to trick anybody. Um, it's just simply following the right commands in the right order and things work. So, cheers.